I'm Nicole Kalish. I am the education manager with the Andis Company. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, easy sanitary trims for your dogs at home. Um, what does that mean? Um, you know, a lot of you probably get your dog groomed at a groomer, but maybe in between uh, you need to clean up some stuff um, between going to appointments. So today I'm going to show you on two of my dogs. Um, how we do the easy sanitary trim. So this is a boy dog. This is my dog Brody who's 11 years old. He's a miniature poodle. Um, so he's been a dog model many times before. I've used him in grooming competitions. So he's usually pretty good. Um, so you know a lot of people are going to try this at home. You might have clippers already. Um, if you're not comfortable with it you can always go to your groomer. Um, that's not a problem at all. Sometimes you can get a bath and brush out with a sanitary trim if you don't need a full groom. But if you're going to do this at home, um, we're going to show you how. So what tools are you going to use? So the tools that we're going to use are clippers. Um, you have a couple options. The first one is an adjustable blade clipper. This is our Andis Pulse LI5. The neat thing about these is it has an adjustable blade. So what we do here is we slide the little ball over and it adjusts the length on the clipper. So this is typically what I would use on any pet dogs, um, or any dogs really, if I'm grooming professionally, um, and on my own dogs. If you do not have an adjustable blade clipper, you can always go with a regular clipper that has a detachable blade. So this one here, I'm using a 10 blade for this. So you may have this type of clipper at home. This happens to be the Pulse um, Purple Galaxy Pulse ER2 cordless, um, or you may have a corded clipper. So I have one of those here too. This is using the same blade as that last clipper I showed, but it's a corded clipper. So maybe you have something like that at home. This is the Andis Endurance Clipper. So I'm going to put that down for now. So um, with that said, you can do a blade or if you're not really comfortable with a blade, you can always use an attachment comb, one of the shorter uh, attachment combs. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, you're also going to maybe want to brush and have one of your combs handy too. So I've got those here. Um, and what kind of dogs are gonna get a sanitary trim? So anything with any kind of coat that grows, uh, your short coated dogs like a Doberman Pinscher, that type of coat, any of those probably will not need a sanitary trim. If you have a dog with a long coat coming down the sides, a lot of feathering in the back, such as a golden retriever or like a setter, um, you can do that on these dogs too without removing any of this coat. So I'll explain that when I'm doing Brody here. Um, but again, he's a boy dog. He is neutered. So I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and we're just going to get started. So let's see here. So I'm going to use a 10 blade on my adjustable blade clipper. There's a few different ways you can handle the dog. So Brody's a small dog, so he's pretty easy. I can lift his front legs up and do it like that. If he was a larger dog that I didn't want to lift up, um, you can go in by just lifting their leg up in their natural position like this. You don't want to pull their leg out to the side in weird positions that's going to hurt the dog or make them uncomfortable. So I'll show you both ways. So on Brody here, I'm going to put my, I've got my blade adjusted to a 10, and I'm literally just skimming off the hair that is around his sanitary area. On a boy dog, you do not really want to go this way. It's always safer to go in this direction. And I like to take some off the sides of the legs as well because all that stuff just gets dirty. Um, whether it's, you know, from the urinating on it or if they're out playing in the rain and the water kicks up um, in the dirt from your yard, I like to just take that hair off. Nobody's gonna see it anyway. Um, and it's, it just keeps it cleaner. So again, I'm holding his leg up like this, and I can come this way as well. I'm just shaving some off. Okay, now, when I was talking about lifting him, what we do here, ready, Brody? He's very used to this, so he's a very good boy. We can lift them up like this and hold their legs and come this way. Now, he was just shaved down a couple weeks ago, so he doesn't have a ton of hair here, but there's enough there that I want to get rid of it. I like to keep him very clean. And I'm doing the top portion of the thigh in here as well. There we go. And you can usually go up to where their navel is if you can find it. Um, it's usually a little indentation. And now he is nice and clean there. 
Um, so I was talking about Nody, Brody being a neutered dog. So a neutered dog in the back, let me turn him around. Um, he obviously doesn't have anything back here. There's, you know, flap of skin here. So what we want to do is hold the tail to the side. If you have a dog with a tail, if they have a lot of hair, you can use a hair clip to kind of hold it to the side so you don't clip it. Um, and I always do a motion this way and this way because there is this flap of skin here that's left from being neutered. So I'm going this way and that way. I don't want to go this way because I don't want to catch that skin. I can also go to this side. Turn around, Brody. Again, I'm holding his tail out of the way. Okay. I'm just getting all that excess hair off. There we go. And the last part of the sanitary trim is to trim their bum. So Brody has his tail cut really short. Um, this is what we call like a terrier tail trim. So it's really easy. If you do have that longer coat on your dogs, um, I know a lot of golden retrievers, those type of dogs or doodles, they have all this long stuff. A lot of times I'll take this up like an inch or so up because then all that hair is not gonna hang into where they go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna turn him a little bit more so you can see. Stay all the way around. There we go. So you want to use a gentle touch in this area. Um, I'm literally going to skim off to the sides a little bit up and a little bit down. I, I generally leave this stuff here because I don't want a big bald patch there. Some people do that and that's fine um, if they have messy dogs that are not very clean when they go to the bathroom. So you can take, like they call it a potty patch or poop patch. You can take that down if you prefer. So with that said, I'm just going to go a few swipes each direction and I'm showing you how high I would go up if I had a dog with a longer tail, longer hair on their tail. I'm taking that up to here. The base of his tail is right here. He doesn't need that but just for video purposes and showing you. I'm very lightly skimming this. You don't want to get in there too much because they do have skin there. But now that's nice and clean. Now to check your work, you know, you can brush it up. Maybe you missed a couple of pieces of hair. Maybe a few pieces of hair kind of got flattened with the clipper. So you can go back in after you brush it up or use your comb. Now Brody and his sister Pippa, that's going to come up here in a few minutes. They both had fresh baths. They're nice and clean, fluff dried. Um, so I made sure of that before I started um, and I'm going to tell you like on a few other types of dogs maybe you have something like a, an Australian Shepherd or something with that thick coat in the back you can scissor this stuff um, it's not technically really a sanitary trim but sometimes that hair gets in the way of them going to the bathroom and it just creates a mess and you don't want that so you can comb up the hair and just scissor some of that off if you'd like or take an attachment comb over your 10 blade or over a 30 blade and just trim some of that off. Again, it's not something he really needs because he's short as it is. Um, but if you have that type of coat on your dog, then you can definitely do that. So that's going to be it for Brody. That is a sanitary trim on a boy dog that's neutered. If you have a boy dog that is not neutered, you can use that 10 blade and just do that same motion that I did. Um, just be very careful of the skin. All right, I'm gonna switch Brody out right now for Pippa. Pippa's another miniature poodle. She's my little girl. Okay, you go in there. Come here, Pip. All right, so here comes Pippa. All right, let me get her leash off. And I'm gonna put this loop down a little lower because she is shorter. And she's going to lay down because she's lazy. All right. So this is Pippa. She's also a miniature poodle. She just had a fresh bath this morning. Brody had his last night. Um, they've both been brushed out completely. Um, I've also got her in a shortcut for the summer um, just because it's easier for me to maintain. Um, normally these guys are in really pretty fancy haircuts with big legs and 
all that, but I'm really busy this summer, so I decided to take them short, and guess what? They're gonna grow in about three months. They'll be in full big coats again. So with that said, I'm gonna start here with Pippa. So Pippa's a girl, so it's a little bit different. She, I left coat on her when I shaved her because I knew I was gonna do this video. So she's got a little more than Brody did. Um, their bum is gonna be the same, but underneath here, it's gonna be a little bit different. All right. So we can do the same motion where I lifted her up as we did with, um, as we did with Brody. And I'm gonna start by doing that. She's also used to this. She's usually really, really good for grooming, but she has her little quirks, so hopefully she doesn't get angry at me. Ready? Good girl. All right, so as you can see, she's got a lot more hair than he did. So I'm gonna do this half this way. Again, I've got this on a 10 blade. You can use your regular clippers with a detachable blade as well, using a 10 blade, if that's what you have at home, whether it's a cordless clipper or a corded clipper. It's all the same thing, it's just the length that we're talking about with blades. So with her, her area down here, I'm gonna go almost the same as the boy dog. We don't have to worry about the middle though. Okay, and then I wanted to show you using an attachment comb. So some people aren't super confident in using a blade. Um, they are very safe. If you use a 10 blade, it's very safe. But if you're not, we can switch over to a really short attachment comb. And the attachment combs, these are the um, Andes Stainless Steel Universal set. They have like eight different lengths in there. Um, what an attachment comb does is let you leave a little more length. brings the, um, the cutting a little bit higher. So you're not touching their skin with the blade. So let me go back to the side and show you on her. Ready? Good girl. So it won't be as short probably with this one, but I'm gonna get rid of some hair here, either way. Okay, the one I'm using here is the um, purple comb. Um, it's pretty short. I could go a little shorter, but I wasn't sure on her type of coat what I wanted to do, so. This probably is fine for any dog, but I just wanted to show you how to use an attachment comb on that. All right, you get down. Good girl. All right, and so we're gonna continue on with her in the rear. I wanna make sure I get this real clean um, because she's got a lot of hair sticking out down here and it gets messy. My dogs mostly get messy from the yard, to be honest. We, we're getting a lot of rain here in Florida. I'm in Florida and we have a lot of sand and gunk in the yard. So I'm gonna turn you a little bit more. So for anybody else that's just getting in here, I'm Nicole Kalish, I'm an Andes Education uh, Manager, and I'm so glad to be here with Doggington Post today for this um, live video to share a little education on what you guys can do at home on easy sanitary trims. So this is Facebook Live, um, but it will be on the page after. Anybody, you know, can't watch the whole thing. Um, so I'm on the 10 blade again, the 10 setting on my adjustable blade clipper. I'm holding her tail to the side. As you can see here, and I'm holding her leg in the natural position, like as if she was walking or running. I'm not holding it out to the side to make it uncomfortable for her. So I'm just gonna go in this way, and then this way for her. Okay, and I'll show you from this side as well. Perfect. Turn around. Stay right there. I'm gonna hold the tail this way to really get in there also. Now, if your dog has any mats, like she has a little mat here, I purposely left that. You could go to a little bit shorter of a length on this clipper. It's a 15. I'm just not, I'm making sure I'm really skimming it. It's a little bit shorter than the 10, but it would probably get right onto that mat. And it did. So there it goes. Okay, I'm going to go back to my 10 for her bum. And... Her tail is shaved because she's a poodle, so she's already had that base of her tail shaved. But again, if you have a dog with a longer coat, you can shave up the back an inch or so, just so that stuff doesn't hang down when they're going to the bathroom. So here we go, light touch, go in each direction. I'm also gonna brush this up a little bit make sure I got all the stray hairs, the clipper didn't miss anything, I can scissor it. Um, and this actually has a 
a set of um, scissors that, um, there's different lengths, but I like this little one for small dogs. Um, so I will just trim those little ends, make it a little neater, and that's it. We'll get this leg a little bit more. All right. And since that other side underneath, I did a little longer with the attachment, I want to get it gone, so I'm going to go back in with my tongue blade and just get rid of it. Okay. And there you have it. So she's all clean now. Um, since her and Brody are both very short, they don't need to be groomed probably like with a full haircut for a while. I give them a bath about every week and you know, of course their tail is longer and their faces are longer. So, um, you know, something like doing a sanitary trim when I'm doing the bath each week or every couple weeks, I can do that sanitary trim just to keep it really neat and clean. Um, back over here. Okay. All right, so I wanna thank you guys all for joining us today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm gonna go back and I'll pop on there and see if I can answer anything for you. If you have um, other needs for education, let us know. Um, we're doing Facebook Lives. Doggington Post is doing Facebook Lives. We're always taking suggestions on what you're looking for. Um, so thanks for coming today, and we'll hope to see you again next time. Thanks, guys.